Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Hollowlight Randomizer, and this episode, I'll be fighting Mantis Lords. Because my internet is still out, so... I would not fight Mantis Lords if my internet wasn't out. But uh, they are, so I will. Ow. Mantis Lords is a good fight. I do like it. It's very fun. Whoops. I'm trying to- I'm trying to be ultra-aggressive, using new strategies I haven't done before. I can do that. Okay. You. It's easy sailing from here. There you go. Me getting hit twice was already is already pretty bad, but I could go in the deep nest, but I'll wait. I'll explore deep nest a bit after I check out my reward. Cuz it should just be right up here. Oops, nope. There we go. So there should be a bench right here. Yep. A... Ro ro ouch. The Mark of Pride would be in here. But it's actually just 24 Geo instead. Honestly, who likes Mark of Pride anyway? Well, obviously Mark of Pride is very good. I will actually say that it's very overrated. I would much rather have Spell Twister or more soul cool i'd much rather have spell twister or strength obviously or quick slash or shaman stone but in a nail focused build i will equip Ma uh mark of pride anyway i would still rate it s tier maybe high a it's still one of the best in the game but I used to over I used to overrate it. Many people still overrate it. It's not as good as some of the damage charms. That doesn't mean I think Spell Twister is S tiered, but I do think it is definitely high A. Just like how I could admit that, yeah, Quick Focus is definitely top tier. But I will never use it because I don't like quick focus. Let's see what this looks like. They go up. Yeah. This is deep nest, all right. Oh, here's a Geo thing. No, that's a Wondrous Journal. Doing it without Dash does definitely make it a little trickier. But not that, not really that much trickier. As long as I have Mantis Claw, I'm good. That's usually the rule of thumb for Hollow Knight in general. As long as you have Mantis Claw, you're pretty, you're pretty good.
There we go. Down I go. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. I have a map, but it doesn't do much. But I think I'm pretty sure this is the right way. Well, that isn't the right way, but I meant going down there at the fork. I think that this area is the bottom left of the map, the three forked one. Yeah, I think it is. So if that's the case, then this is definitely the right way. I need to keep going downward. This is, in fact, the right way. I should look more for Geo, but I don't wanna. I'm I'm definitely going to be missing some amount of um, Geo rocks and whatever, but I can always do a re look at any areas I miss. I like know I miss some geo rocks somewhere. I think Yep, here we are. So over here will be the tram station and uh, some other stuff, I think. Is it Sharp Shadow that's over here? Or is that... No, the Sharp Shadow is... What charm is right, is right over here? Oh, I have a dash now. Uh, that's cool. I forget what charm is over here normally. Well, that's open. Okay then. Oh, there you go. I don't want to be here, but I don't want to leave either, so. I want to go up from here to see what that takes me. It's, aha, this one. I want to see what it gives me. Still not used to using dash. Heck. Oh, screw you. Uh, tick, whatever, whatever those guys are called, tick ticks. The tick ticks are the small white ones. I don't want to die. This is way too early to die, so I will be a little bitch. I am so dumb. Cool. Oh, okay, I just one shot him. <sighs> sigh. Sigh, sigh, sigh.
There we go. This coincidentally also gives me enough health to keep to try this again. I managed to catch. Heck you, dude. I'm just gonna make sure I heal this time. You're meant to go like that. Well, time to see what it has. Hail ore, that's actually worth it. I'm actually happy about this decision. I can leave and be happy with the fact that I wasted my time on this. Now, I think there's also... something downwards, if I recall cor correctly. Yeah. I swear there's a there's a charm over here normally. I know, obviously won't he it won't have the charm now, but yeah, I think that I think this is the um, sharp shadow area, and it has nothing else. So just waste my time with that. Cool. Ouch. I, that was, that's like the second time I've done that, or third. But now since I'm done with that area, I can instead heal back up and then continue on my way. I continue on my way, I mean fight Nas. I should get soul before I fight him though. Because I am very bad at this game, in case you haven't noticed. I'm I'm realistically I'm not I'm not bad. I consider myself very good at the game, obviously. But when I but like, you know, I'm not consistently flawlessly flawlessing the game. I'm going to mess up a lot. I don't have double jump, so I can't get over here that way. So I'll have to do this, this, that. Is this the right direction? Yes, this is the direction to get to Nosk. I just thought I, th I just thought that would be a hidden room or whatever. I heard the jingle of. There's definitely that's definitely the broken wall. I thought I heard the I, I heard the little of an item, and I did. I me. I me.
Grimkin Flame. I think that's the second one I've collected. Falling Cliffs map. Not a bad take. Buy me again. Buy me again. Even though um, I consider Nosk easy, not a very great boss, I do have to admit the uh, the tone of this area, the vibe, the first feeling you get when you see yourself, and and then you just get like jump scared by yourself morphing into this creature that then attacks you. It's a very good fight. Well, here I am, Nosk. So, I hope you have- I hope you like getting this nail to the face, because I'm not gonna go easy on you. Oh. Forgot about QOL mod skipping boss cutscenes. I'm just gonna heal. Well, now the fight's easy because I get I get free healing. I'm not gonna edge camp unless I'm healing, so. Oh. You suck, Nosk. I wonder what he appeared as to the people in the background, like the other vessels or the uh, stalking devout. What could he have appeared as to, in order to trick them? Because his appearance also changes his attack pattern. So he's crawling around for me, and when he was Hornet, he fl flew around. But what was he like when? But what was he like when he was like trying to trick a tick tick? Did he look like a glob of food? It's a very interesting thought because Nosk, even though he's a bad boss, he's a very interesting. He's very interesting lore implications. Like, the fa what does it mean that the knight saw Hornet? Does that mean he considers Hornet a friend? There we go. That was easy. But does it mean the knight considers Hornet a friend? Or what? I'm not really sure. Leave a comment about what you think. Simple key. That's that's pretty good. That was a little that was a little underwhelming. I expected a little bit of a harder fight. Didn't even get my heart pumping a little. But Nosk is normally pretty easy, so it's not actually that surprising. You know, I I was hoping. Well, anyway, as I walk out of here, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Hollow Knight Randomizer. And if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my content. Leave a comment about anything else you would like to see from me. I hope you have a nice day and goodbye.